What is hazardous waste? Industrial operations such as chemical production and manufacturing are the primary sources of hazardous waste. The waste might be in the form of solids, liquids, gaseous mixtures, or sludges. It is possible that these hazardous wastes cause significant damage if they are not adequately stored, treated, or transported, or disposed of. What is hazardous waste management? Hazardous waste management is a comprehensive process of the collection of hazardous waste, its treatment and disposal. These hazardous waste materials can cause significant harm to human health and safety or the environment if handled incorrectly. Hazardous waste such as sludge and other industrial produce hazardous waste that can come in various forms such as dissolved solids or liquids or enclosed gases. Unsatisfactory storage system, transportation, treatment, or disposal activities may result in damage. As a result of improper hazardous waste storage or disposal, surface and groundwater supplies can be contaminated with damaging water pollution and ground contamination, respectively. In some cases, residents who live near the old and abandoned garbage disposal facilities may be at risk. The management of hazardous wastes is strictly regulated by governments in an effort to address present problems and prevent future harm due to these hazardous wastes. Transportation of Hazardous Waste It is common for hazardous waste to be transported to approved treatment centers TSDFs. Government agencies pay particular attention to transportation because of the potential dangers it poses to public safety and the environment. There have been instances of midnight dumping, where hazardous trash has been deliberately spilt or abandoned at random sites, in addition to the occasional unintentional spill. By requiring proper labeling, transportation, and tracking of all hazardous wastes, legislation has been enacted that drastically reduces these incorrect practices. Transport Vehicles Trucks are the most common mode of transportation for hazardous waste. Air and inland waterways only move a tiny fraction, if any, of the total. It is the most popular mode of transportation because most industrial sites and TSDFs can be reached by road. Railroad trains necessitate expensive siting facilities and are only suited for large waste loads because of their high cost. In order to transport dangerous waste, steel or aluminium alloy tank trucks with a capacity of approximately 34,000 liters can be used, 9,000 gallons. 200 liter, 55 gallon, barrels can be containerized and delivered as well. Transportation of cargo in tanker trucks and shipping containers is regulated by federal and state authorities. The Manifest System of Waste Transportation the cradle-to-grave manifest system, used in the U.S. and other countries, is a fundamental aspect of waste transport legislation and tracks hazardous waste from its start point through its final disposal. This approach eliminates the problem of people dumping trash in the middle of the night. An emergency spill protocol is also provided, as well as a method for assessing the type and quantum of hazardous material being generated. To properly dispose of hazardous waste, the company responsible for creating it, such as chemical manufacturing, is required to create a manifest. The waste generator is ultimately responsible for disposing of the garbage and must hand over the manifest to a licensed waste transporter, along with the waste itself. The garbage recipient must get a copy of the manifest from the transporter at an authorized TSDF. A manifest must sign every time when waste is transferred. As a precautionary measure, environmental agencies receive copies of the manifest as well as those preserved by each entity engaged. Storage of hazardous waste. A minimum of 3 meters, 10 feet, of separation must be maintained between the bottom of the landfill and the underlying bedrock or groundwater table in order to safely dispose of hazardous wastes. Secure hazardous waste landfills necessitate leachate collection systems and two impermeable landfill liners. Treatment of hazardous waste. Physical Treatment Separation or physical form change of trash without affecting the chemical composition of the constituents is called physical treatment. Separation of elements within the waste stream by physical treatment procedures is frequently employed to facilitate chemical treatment and or high temperature burning. A waste stream can be prepared for final destruction in a controlled biological or thermal treatment procedure by unraveling hazardous materials from non-hazardous waste. No matter what type of trash is being processed, physical treatment procedures are critical to any type of integrated waste management system. Chemical Treatment of Hazardous Waste Waste materials undergo a chemical treatment process that causes either a harmless or a less harmful end product. 
As a result of their low air pollution, the convenience of performing chemical processes close to where waste is generated, and the possibility of designing and constructing mobile units, a chemical process is a popular choice. Biological Treatment of Hazardous Waste When microorganisms are used to break down organic waste into water, carbon dioxide, and inorganic compounds, it is called the biological waste treatment process. The incoming garbage usually contains the microorganisms needed for a biological process. In some cases, microorganisms that are designed to target specific substances are infused into a waste stream for use in treatment. The goal of a biological treatment system is to maintain high dilutions of microorganisms in contact